Shalom, the Lord bless you. <clears throat> I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Someone is being punished right now for a free mission against you. <laughs> Oh my God, I say it again. Someone is being punished right now for a failed mission concerning him. <laughs> this is really, I don't know, I don't know what she's, I, I what um, word to describe this bird. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You know what the Bible says? I'm going to explain this to you. The Bible says it's clear. It's very clear. Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Like, see, the Bible says for the word of God I hear and amen. His word, God is not a man that he should lie. Neither is he the son of man that he should repent. Has he said it and will he not do it? Has he spoken and will he not come to pass? One thing you must understand is God is so amazing. God is so wonderful. God is so different. He sees to what he says he will do. <clears throat> and that settles it. God will never give a promise without fulfilling that particular promise. When God is giving us a promise, he's making sure there is fulfillment. He's making sure he's redeeming it. And that's one thing we must understand. The Bible says, The word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. The Bible says, For it is the spirit that gives life. The flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirits and they are life. I can go on and on and on to quote the Bible and to quote scriptures that will make you understand that no matter... <clears throat> Excuse me, please. No matter what is going on and no matter how much they keep trying, it's going to be very difficult for God to just let them like that. The only reason why an attack that can be sent to you comes to you is for a great lesson and it's for God to make you stronger. Except you're spiritually insensitive. And even when you're spiritually insensitive, God will see to it that he awakens you in your subconscious. God will see to it that he keeps fighting for you. And this is what a lot of people do not understand. Sometimes we are like, why did God allow this to come to me? No, God let it come, come. God let that thing, I, um, God let the attack on you. He sat quiet, but you're still alive, which means it would have been more. Mm, it would have been more. It would have been worse. Honey, it would have been worse. But the Lord let it come because he knows that he wants you to be an amazing person. He wants you to be a stronger person. This is one thing I always tell myself. I always tell myself it would have been worse. Thank God he protected me. Thank God he intervened. It would have been worse. See, if the devil had the opportunity to kill you, they will kill you right away. I'm telling you, they will kill you right away. They will not give you a second chance. You know why? Because another chance can reinforce you. Another chance can awaken in you. Another chance can give you strength. Ask the devil. He learned his lesson from Jesus. He noticed that Jesus became reinforced. Jesus was instead awakening. He said, ah, so the attack instead made Jesus stronger. What happened? There are people who are stronger now because they've been attacked. The reason you can pray better is because you've been attacked. I'm telling you, honey. I'm telling you. The reason you can pray better, the reason you can be a better person is because you have been attacked. It's because you've been through torture. You've been through what is happening to you, what has happened to you that has made you an amazing person and a different person. Somebody was sent on a mission to attack you. They were sent to attack you. Oh my God. 
They were sent to bring you down. But they failed. And because they had a failed mission on here, they're suffering the consequences right now. They are being punished. They are being punished for not giving a good delivery. They are being punished. There is somebody right now, you don't know the havoc. You don't know the punishment you've placed on somebody because God has protected you and because you've been spiritually strong. And I like to say this, you're today, you're alive because of not of your spirituality, nor your holiness, nor your prayer, but it is by the mercy of God. God's mercies have prevailed over your life. And somebody right now is being punished. I'm speaking, and this is a great confirmation to someone. It is a powerful confirmation to you. You know that an attempt to kill you failed. An attempt to take over your life failed, to take out your life, wipe you out failed. An attempt to bring you down failed. There was a failed attempt. You could feel it, you know it. You know that God protected me on this. You know that God preserved me on this. You know that God shielded me on this. The Bible says he who keeps Israel neither sleeps nor slumber. Let's pray and say, Father, we thank you. Thank you for protection. Thank you for divine covering. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. In the name of Jesus, amen. If I'm talking to you, type it on the comment section, connect yourself, make that confession. Say, Lord, I thank you for protecting me. Thank you for your coverage. Thank you for your shield. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. We must be grateful to God. Someone is being punished right now. A failed attempt. The failed. That was a failed attempt. The failed. Hallelujah. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Please, if this has been of great help to you, I want to beg on you that you please pray for me. As the Spirit of the Lord will lead you to pray for me. Please do not stop praying for me. Always put me in your prayers. Pray for me, please, I beg you. Don't relent. Call my name in the place of your prayers. Always keep praying for me. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You're welcome to the family. God bless you already now. May the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May he cause his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in the mighty name of Jesus. I love you so much at all. God bless you amazingly and God bless you abundantly. I love you so much. God bless you. Shalom.